for those of you who are taking thesis seminar, um, I want to give you a couple of tips on how you can find out what you're supposed to be doing for any given day. When we start thesis seminar, the first week, as you know, we're having all whole group discussions. And as you're becoming familiar with Notion, I understand that it can be a little bit overwhelming trying to find out what we're supposed to be doing and trying to find different parts of the content that's listed in Notion. So I want to give you just a very quick and easy way to find out what you're supposed to be doing for any given day that we have, especially for the whole group uh, discussions. So from within Microsoft Teams, if you click Home, this will take you to the Thesis Seminar content page in Notion. If you scroll down from the main page down to the Academic Planner, search the day of the week, right? In this case, today is January 26th. That's why it's indicated here uh, in red. But let's say that you want to find out what we did yesterday. You can click on the activity from yesterday and you'll see the video from the entire class and you'll see the different activities that we talked about and discussed. So it's always useful to take a look at the text within the page as well as if you need to refer back to the video. Okay, so yesterday we talked about a lot of different things so uh, this page will be helpful if you need to access it as a, as a review. Now let's say that you want to see what uh, we talked about in the last session, okay? So at the time of this recording, it's 9.27. We just completed our first session for the day at 8 o'clock. So if you click on here, you'll find the content page for that discussion. You'll see the video, and you'll also see the page where we talked about many of these things listed here. All right, so it's really a combination of, if you need to, accessing the video, and then also looking at the activities here that were uh, included. And this is what I mean by becoming familiar with the content because a lot of times in these assignment or these uh, class pages, they will include links to other pages within Notion that will help you uh, in the research process. So I would suggest just becoming familiar with Notion, starting off with just the pages that we work on as whole class uh, discussions but then on your own I would if you want to open this up in your browser okay this is exactly the same content just accessing it using your browser you can scroll through and look at the different activities for example today we talked about narrowing down a topic and so we can go he through here and look at the different uh, things that we talked about Right. If you want to, you can also look at um, sections of a thesis manuscript. Okay, you can look at that. This is just how to access different uh, or how to uh, consider what to consider when you're developing your own literature review, what to consider in each section. And there's some other um, there's some other pieces of content that we're going to talk about in class, but you have access to it that you can take a look at either before class, during class, or after the class, okay? So this is all gonna remain throughout the semester, but the idea here is that my all of our discussions and all of my planning is all very much transparent so that it allows you to, um, you know, take a look at the uh, the information. If you want to think of this page kind of as a textbook, a dynamic textbook, that's another way of looking at it. But again, there's a lot of audio, video, text, and images, and PDFs that all serve to help you to facilitate the research process as, as you progress throughout the semester. So I hope this helps. Again, you can access all of this page, uh, all of this information through Microsoft Teams if that's how you choose to to do so like if you want to access your tutoring sessions you can click here it's exactly the same concept it's just all through Microsoft Teams if you want to expand this to make it a little bit more comfortable and have a little bit more screen real estate to access the content that's that's fine but um, 
you know, you can access this through Microsoft Teams or again, click on this icon here in the top right hand corner of your screen to go to the website via your browser. So if you guys have any questions, getting, um, getting around Notion, uh, accessing files that we're uh, sharing in class, feel free to reach out to me outside of class. If we need to schedule a session to uh, clarify any doubts that you have, we can certainly do that. All right, so we'll see everybody in our next class.